Hey guys, this is Tom with The Verge, and we're looking at Windows 10 uh, running on tablets. So the first thing you notice is you've got the full sort of start screen, start menu, whatever you want to call it now. Um, and there's no option to like resize it like you would see on the, the desktop version. Um, so basically, you've got all your apps. You can switch like you would have done in Windows 8, but you're still seeing the, you've got the virtual desktops here. So it's all kind of very similar to sort of the PC version, and it kind of acts very like pretty much the same way. Uh, you can switch between the apps here and navigate around, kill off apps. You've also got Cortana in here, um, same as the, the desktop version. You say, what's the weather like today? So that works well, and it should show us the weather. There we go. Microsoft's obviously trying to unify it, and they're saying it's Windows 10 on, on everything, and that's pretty apparent here. Um, all, the, all the apps are obviously running full screen, as you would expect on this tablet. Um, but you've also got the ability to then turn off the tablet mode and kind of use it as a desktop computer. So everything will pop back into these um, into these sort of apps that you would expect on a desktop machine. Now you could hook this up to a monitor, use it as your main desktop PC if you wanted to. Um, but obviously, it's preferable to have it in this tablet mode where everything's running full screen for a sort of device like this. So that was a quick look at Windows 10 on a tablet.